Hi everyone, welcome to my vlog. Um, hope everyone is doing really well. Um, we are in Italy, we are here in Rome for a few days and then we go to Sardinia for a few days. And it's nice and warm, ignore the wine stains on my shirt. I had some wine in the flight and I always just spill things on myself, so that's that. Um, but yeah, we're here in Italy, it's nice and warm, it's very warm actually, and um, yeah, we've just got to our Airbnb in Rome. It's very cute, I'm going to give you a little tour of what the Airbnb looks like. I feel like I look ashy. Whatever. Um, but yeah, what am I saying? Giving you a tour. Sorry, I'm quite tired. <laughs> My brain isn't working. But I'm very excited. I've heard many good things about Rome. Most people just say it's really beautiful. So I'm excited to see it. Um, in general, I do quite like Italy. I like that they have lots of greenery. Like they just seem to have so much trees about and it just looks quite green. And so I'm excited to just be back and enjoy a few days of doing nothing. Well, not doing completely nothing, but you know, just relaxing really. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and give you that tour. So the door is just through there and to the right. And you come in and then you have this like shelving unit with lots of books and decorative ornaments on it. And it's just very pretty. It's very, it's very minimal but colorful at the same time. These are the things I wish I could do for myself in my own home. And then we also have this concrete like pillar that kind of goes through the the living space area um kind of adds a bit of texture i think to the to the whole apartment because you have like for example the, the door leading to the leading to the bedroom has this arch on it and then you have this texture right next to it and then all these colors i think it just works really well together to just add like the perfect balance of like minimalism and also just a bit of play to the structure if that makes sense so that's like the hallway entrance bit. And then as you enter, you then go to the living room area. So this is the, I think, main sitting area and you have this lovely light blue sofa, quite a few plants, like lots of plants here. And then like this, what looks like a mattress folded up into a chair, but I don't think that's what it is. I think that's what it's just made to look like. But you have that sitting area there also. And yeah, just a nice simple shelving unit above the sofa bit. And just whoever's put this together is quite creative, I think. They've really got the perfect balance. This is, I've been trying to, I guess, identify what my sense of style is. And I think like your fashion style this does bleed into your, I guess, sense of home design also. Is home design the right word? I think it is. But what I'm trying to say is I've been trying to... You know figure out what my actual style is and i this is it if i can encapsulate it this is it it's like minimal but also playful and this space has that really well balanced and i really really enjoy that so anyways i waffle on this is what the living room area looks like it has that perfect balance of minimalism and also playfulness to it which i really enjoy and very close to the living room area is the dining area. It has this, again, very minimal table, but has like a nice shape to it. And I like the legs on the table and then the chairs also. Still very minimal, but also playful. I just think it's so well done and very beautiful. This is where I hope to get with my sense of style in the future. And I really like this, um, what is, I don't know what that's called. Like that table, that desk thing. Is that shelf? Oh, what's the round thing called? Bubba? Okay, he's not listening to me. I really like the um, storage unit over there. Um, that's the best I can describe it. But um, I like the nice color of brown it has. Really adds a bit of depth to the depth. I always get confused saying that word. But anyways... 
a bit more depth to the whole living space and then with the colors on top it looks really good and yeah that's what the dining area looks like so here is what the kitchen looks like it has again quite a bit of play going on with it with the plants and the blue black splash but it's also very minimal and I like this I guess uh opening that it has to the balcony and it's just well it's well placed I guess all the areas in the house in the flat so it has marble tops also and then just other like cutting space or cooking space I, I think to the other side but yeah again very minimal but also cute and playful which I really like I really like this apartment it's really cool This is the bedroom. Hopefully this isn't too echoey, but this is the bedroom. There's nothing much going on in here. It's, I don't think it's as interesting as the um, other areas in the room, but I guess that makes sense because it is a sleeping area and it seems like whoever lives here wants it to be nice and calm. So it has just a basic bed, no headboard, and sunglasses and a bed and some towels which you've left out for us and then just again a cupboard this deep brown cupboard sticking with the deep brown themes I think she is and it looks really cool well done to her so yeah and then this little desk area at the window and then this bedside lamp which is so cute because I never would have thought that I never would have thought to have I guess two woven baskets and then the antique lamp on top as my bedside lamp but yeah I think it's cool I just thought that and put that together and it looks really good it goes with the room as a whole and it's very cute Everyone. So it is day two of our trip in Italy. We're in Rome and I am going to put together a collection of all my outfits for my time here. So today's day two. I don't know if day one outfit will make it into this clip, uh, into this video, but might as well. I am wearing these shorts that I got from Bershka. No, pull and bear, either pull and bear or bear I will clarify that in the, I guess, footnotes, note section of the video. And then this oversized um, linen shirt is from Zara. I got this ages ago and I've always worn it every time I go away on holiday. I am wearing some white flip flops. I'm wearing some white flip flops, um, some Hawaiianas. I think they look good. And then I've got my brown bag from um, other stories along with this. And then some sunglasses from Mango, which are also brown, and I thought that would look good. And then just some accessories, my watch, my bracelet, my rings. I got this little cute smiley ring from ASOS. Thought it was cute my nails are also red and i hope this looks good but yeah this is my outfit for today i also got some beaded necklaces and some gold jewelry going on i forgot to mention that but yeah this for a while also and I think it just looks really good with the color on the top 
like I said, I think I mentioned this earlier, but I'm trying to be a lot more playful with my outfits, a bit more colourful, so that's where the combo is coming from. And to dress things up a little bit, I've gone with gold jewellery, layering a little bit, and then my gold rings, bracelets, earrings, and then my Bershka bag, and then also the black version of the Havaiana slippers I had in my other red and white outfit. So yeah, here I am. I would like to leave my hair down throughout the whole day because I think it just adds to the outfit, the hair down into the back, but it's boiling outside and so that might not be the case. So there is the outfit. I'm just gonna give you a little turn. Hi everyone, it is now Sunday and this is our last day in Rome. Um, the Airbnb host has been nice enough to allow us to stay till our next flight which is in the evening. So we leave for Sardinia tonight and um, she's allowed us to stay till evening before we have to go catch our flight which is really nice and so that allows us to go out for a brief time in Rome again and go to a coffee shop, have some breakfast and enjoy the last day in Rome, which is really nice. We had a very lovely time last night. We went out in the night time. So we got here Wednesday and for the first two days, we, well, Wednesday we went out in the evening, but just very local to the Airbnb we were staying in. And the next day and the day after that, so Thursday, Friday, we went out to see, I guess, the historical attractions like the Colosseum, um, Basilica, St. Peter's Basilica. And where else did we go to on Thursday? Ah, oh, the uh, fountain. And going out in the daytime and doing all these touristy things can be very draining because the heat is very high in at this time that we've come. So it's July, obviously. It's July and the heat is, it's intense. I think there's a heat wave going on in general. So doing all that in the heat really does exhaust you. So we decided on the Saturday yesterday that we would just go out in the evening and experience nightlife. And so that's what we did. We stayed indoors at about 6.30, then we left and went outside. And it was way cooler at that time and a lot more comfortable to be out than usually in the high heat in the day. We went to the canal. They have like a event going on at the canal. Not an event necessarily, but just like a, uh, maybe it is an event. They, they have just lots of food stalls and bars along the canal. And it's a very long walk and it's just a lot uh, of options in terms of food and bars to stay at. We saw some music, we even saw some um, a fashion show, which was interesting, and uh, it was fun to see anyway. A fashion show, some music, some dancing in the like center square. It was just really nice and fun to be out um, in the nighttime. It was, it was very lovely. And we also had a really lovely dinner at the restaurant last night. 
and that will be shown in this clip in case anyone wants reference but um just lovely dinner lovely vibe lovely night because it was nice and cool and it wasn't as um stressful as when it's really hot so yeah we had a very lovely time yesterday rome in general i think is really beautiful it's a very beautiful city because you have such um lovely architecture and so much history here like they have like uh they have preserved a lot of the history that the city has and so um yeah the history is beautiful the city is beautiful the buildings are beautiful the people are so lovely and warm and friendly i that has been my experience in italy throughout every time i've been to italy the people are just so warm so friendly so nice to tourists they're just very accommodating you know try to understand you where you can't speak the language and are very happy when you, you know say things like ciao and progo which you know it's very simple things but i think they appreciate when you emulate some part of their culture so it's been it's just a very lovely time every time i come to italy and the trip has been no different so we're very i'm very excited to like also go to sardinia and experience a beach holiday because i i need the sea it would be nice to wear a um wear a bikini and be on the beach and the sand and just relax on the water but yeah we're now off to a coffee shop my belly is rumbling i hope that's not being picked up on camera we're now off to a coffee shop to get some food, some breakfast, do a little last minute roam and then come back and then we'll leave for the airport. So I guess I'll see you guys in Sardinia. Hi everyone, um, we're now in Sardinia this is our third day in sardinia i haven't had the time to pick up and i guess talk to um the camera so i've just been mostly surviving because we've got to sardinia and i'm just so exhausted from i think all the heat of just the the past few days on holiday so and i hadn't been drinking enough water so I, like yesterday i really struggled with the heat and i so dehydrated like <laughs> priority is drinking water basically because yeah it really got to be yesterday but um today is wednesday today's wednesday mm -hmm. yeah today's wednesday we leave on no, she... today's tuesday sorry we leave on thursday and we are going to poeta beach i'll try to show you my outfit later i can't capture it in here we're in different airbnb obviously obvious information but um it's really messy right now, so I don't actually know if I'll get to give you a tour. But um, yeah, we're in Sardinia and we are going to the beach and it's been really lovely here. I can't wait to um, see the ocean because I think the... Oh, it's a slider. I think water just makes me feel zen, like very just calm. So I'm very excited to go to the beach. But um, what else is there? Food has been really good. We've had lots of pasta. Lots have had so much gelato, like an insane amount of gelato. I don't even know how my belly is coping right now because I, I have bad IBS and yeah, gelato and gluten, dairy and gluten are things I really should not be eating. But I find that when I'm over here in Italy, especially, it doesn't. It takes a, a much greater amount for it to cause me the same amount of trouble that I would get by even just looking at gluten or dairy back home in London. So that's interesting. I don't know if I'm just biased or that's just like a what's the word for it when it's not real? It's a placebo fact. But um, yeah, food has been good. Lots of gelato, lots of pizza, lots of pasta, and some apérol spritz. But yeah, we are off to the beach now and I'll see you guys when we get there.
everyone we are now back from the beach we've had a very very oh just sat on something there okay yeah so we're back from the beach we had a very very lovely day at the beach it was very beautiful very relaxing very calming i really enjoy being in water i can't swim yeah <laughs> i don't want to give anyone the wrong impression i can't swim but just being in water just i guess being surrounded by nature really just makes me feel very relaxed so i always enjoy just being in the ocean and just looking out into nothing and just seeing just a body of water and then also just i guess the surrounding like surrounding hills and just more nature around and also just being around people just being you know i feel like when you go to the beach or when you go to like any type of like beach style maybe like a lake or a canal where people swim or go there to just chill out that's what i'm trying to say when you go around these areas you're just you find people just taking a breath and just chilling out and something about that i find really relaxing because it's nice to watch people just be and not have to do anything they're genuinely having a good time most of the time anyway i like seeing people just having a good time it makes me feel really good it makes me feel very happy just yeah watching people enjoy the sun enjoy the water kids being kids i don't know searching for stones in the water building sand castles things like that just bring me so much joy i like watching people be at peace it's really nice i find it very relaxing also and the breeze everything just comes together really nicely um so we're out to dinner now we are going to a pizza place and to then maybe go to uh, a bar or something people are out really late in the little courtyard just outside of where we're staying there they're, they're out quite late in the night time um they're out till about 3 a.m which is i wasn't expecting that because it is like weekday but people are out quite late i think this is a better lighted actually and yeah um we're gonna try to just be out tonight and have some drinks i still need to stay hydrated but um yeah just have a nice time because we leave in we leave the day after tomorrow it's just sad but um i've had a really lovely time in italy i think genuinely this is just a beautiful country and the people are in my experience so far very warm very welcoming just really nice people so yeah off to dinner <laughs> Hi everyone, um, ignore my greasy face, I've just taken a shower and washed my face and I've just done my bedtime routine. I know I'm not wearing bedtime clothes but I had to take some photos earlier, wow that is a blackhead. Anyways, back from Italy now, back home in London, it was really lovely. Um, like I said earlier, this is the second time I've been and just great things to say really. The weather is really lovely, Sardinia was beautiful. I can see my future in Sardinia. I can see my future in two cities I've been to in Europe so far, and that would be Lit Sardinia and um, not. I know Sardinia is not a city. Don't get me wrong, but Cagli Caligari, Cagliari, Cagliari. I can see my future there, and I can also see my future in Lisbon. I like the very mellow vibe, and there's still quite a good amount of, I guess, a younger generation, younger people. So it has a really nice vibe to it, and. Yeah, I, I could see my future in those two cities. Overall, it was just, it was lovely to be away. It was lovely to have some downtime, enjoy some good sun because the weather hasn't been great, hasn't been great in London, um, which in the UK as a whole, which, you know, it sucks a little bit, but what can you do? You get some sun where you can. 
and it was just nice to have some sun I like I can't swim for shit but I really enjoy being in the ocean like I really enjoy ooh, sorry I really enjoy nature I really enjoy just I guess being immersed in nature so extremely what I mean by extremely is that obviously in the UK and things like that in like day-to-day -day life you get a bit of the park and that does have nature to it and it's really lovely don't get me wrong but I think when you are in the ocean that's like an even grander I guess uh, landscape and in those moments you're really reminded that life is really beautiful not to sound all corny but um life is really beautiful you just feel like you are part of something way bigger than you and it kind of puts things into perspective because you I don't know for me anyway my problems or my day-to-day -day worries just don't seem that significant because <laughs> why should it at the end of the day I'm part of this earth being and that feels very nice to be reminded of that fact and just to take that all in it just feels so nice so I had a lovely lovely time and I'm bummed out that I'm back but you can't moan too much we are back and yeah back to day today oh so it just slips there but back to day today life and yeah that's all there is to that really but I hope you guys enjoy my vlog and if you did enjoy it please go ahead and like and subscribe and I will see you on the next video bye